the uh, DTC thermostat rationality. Um, a lot of people automatically just replace thermostat. Most likely you'll probably get it, but uh, you gotta start off with the basics. The car for the PCM is gonna supposed to be dealing with this thermostat rationality. Now this piece, this flash is only gonna deal with the software, but you still have to replace the thing, you're getting the right part. So always make sure you, you got that right there. And that's about it on that. Make sure you have your coolant to the level, you don't have no coolant leaks, because if you have a coolant leak, then that's most likely gonna be your issue. And probably thermostat too, but. So always do a pressure. So after you did your pressure test for the coolant and everything tests fine, make sure you always pressure it, as what the cap would say. Um, you wanna go ahead and some of my tools that I'm going to be using to do this job here. You can do your tools, but this is what works for me. These swivels right here are very important. It's 13 for the vacuum pump, a 10, a 10 swivel, and an 8 swivel. And I use this wrench. You'll see why I use all that stuff. Go step by step. And you got to get your vacuum afterwards. All right, I'm going to go through it and see what you guys do. Think. All right, so first, I like to take the undercarriage cover off and. So you don't make a mess on it and you have to clean it and just put your coolant catcher there. Kind of underneath the transmission, that's where all the coolants are. going to be a pain. You got to jiggle them out sometimes. So I'd rather just leave that to the side. This right here is going to have three bolts on this bracket. One here, one here, and one not to fucking have. Uh, I kind of take this ground wire off with the nut there so I remember. I don't really like to mess with the connectors. So I always try to avoid these connectors kind of. So for the PCM, I just kind of put it to the side. The battery I disconnected, I like to put a cover, make sure it doesn't touch. I just connected the ground too, for whatever theory you use. Stuff, you can clean that off, you can leave that on there, that's up to you at that point. But make sure you don't contaminate, it's very important. Put it in the bag or somewhere, you don't just throw it. Vacuum pump here, we took it out. Very important for your brake booster. Don't want to contaminate it, so I'm going to put it in this bag. Always make sure these oil rings here, don't get damaged or any of that sort of thing. You'll put them back on there, season them nice and good. Um, you don't have to time it, you don't have to put no RTB, none of that. Don't take them off, just loosen them up where it has enough play. We're gonna get that bracket right there, just to loosen up and have play. So we can get that thermostat out of there. All right, here we go. And don't two of them, there's gonna be one right there and one kind of down there, I don't know if you see it. Another one right there. You wanna loosen them up. But we gotta loosen that eight and this eight, and then there's two tents back there on that same bracket. So I'm trying to zoom in. You see these little tents right here? There's gonna be two back to it. Um, it's an eight right here with my swivel. Um, I have to take this this eight right here. We're just gonna loosen it up. Don't take it off. Just loosen it. Then we're gonna take this. Don't take these cooling lines off yet. You're gonna make a mess you know, all over your tools, and it's just it's a hectic situation after that. Don't just wait until the end. Take ten tight. These tens right here. I already took off that ten. I'm about to take this eight off. Kind of same thing. Go through it right here with my air ratchet. All right. So the bracket has enough enough play right here to get off. It's not all the way off. Besides that little eight down there, and these two tens are loose. And I'll show you the rest right now. Boom there. But we got loosen that eight and this eight. And then there's two tents back there on that same bracket. So I'm trying to zoom in. You see these little tents right here? There's gonna be. Two. Don't take these cooling lines off yet. You're gonna make a mess you know, all over your tools, and it's just it's a hectic situation after that. Don't just wait until the end. Take ten tight. These tents right here. I already took off that ten. I'm about to take this eight off. Kind of same thing. Go through it right here with my air ratchet. And I'll show you the rest right now. All right, here's the last 10. So <clears throat> you put your extension with the swivel 10. Try to use the extension to kind of help you guide where the 10's at. Just always push the extension to this hose, this line right here, into it. And that's most likely where the 10 will be at, through the bottom itself, right? I put this camera in here so you can kind of see where that 10's at. I never really use the camera. I just kind of get the feel and kind of go by there. You see? Coming out, it's the last one. You kind of go from there. Uh, let me take my camera out of there and I'll show you how I slide that thermostat out of it. And now it's gonna make a mess, and it's alright. Here's your thermostat. Now I'm gonna take these lines off, and that line should just come out. 
you don't really damage anything or anything. You're not putting that much pressure on it. You just barely push it on. It. Barely just pushing on it, and it'll come off. That's the side. All right, this clip right here is for the last hose down back there. I like to use this right here and kind of go on there. I like to call these my fingers because it's like a nail. Rather, I use it out so you don't lose it, you don't damage it, or anything like that. I like to take it out, put it somewhere where it's safe. Don't lose that. And then you just kind of don't pop out. And here's your thermostat. Clamps right here. These pliers for these clamps right here. They kind of go in there and they guide them off and you break them off. If, it's a, if it was a warranty job or something in, in that sort, you want to replace it with an actual OEM clamp and you use these to tighten them up. But uh, I kind of don't like these. So I use the other ones. It's up to you. It doesn't say you have to use those back or anything like that. Gotta go from there. After this, you just gonna have to take the clamp line off there and then go from there. Back for this back bolt here, and it's kind of pain, pain the butt to take off and put on. I like to use a little bit of this dum dum right here. This trim holder. Uh, I'm not sure where you, where you get it from. Probably your hardware store or something. Just like to put a little bit on there like that. Not to the point where it's gonna mess with the with this side. It's actually gonna marry to the head. And put it there, and then it kind of won't don't move as much. Same thing for the for the socket. You want to grab just a little bit and just kind of dab it in there like that. So when you actually go in there. Go in there, the bolt doesn't fall, kind of crowds on. I'm not sure they make these magnetic or not, but oh, yeah, and don't forget to put that clip back on there before you do actually put the housing in there. And to get it, I just like to kind of use the stuck fabric, not so rough, not so hard, just kind of surface the area itself and go from there. All right. That right there helps out. Um, it's, sometimes it might be better if you start the actual bolt on top and then get this one started. It might help you guys out it's a little bit, but I could kind of get it without doing that. But I, you know, I just wanted to show you. So I think I got it. So nice and good time. Torque wise, yeah, you can go get your torque specs and kind of go from there, but that's really up to you. I kind of know it's tight, I haven't had an issue. I kind of go from there. All right. And now I kind of go ahead and put this line back in there. And this one will just clip on. Put that line in there, that back line. I kind of wait until it's connected until I put my vacuum pump. It kind of gets in my way sometimes. Just get yourself a screw clamp, tighten them up. But I use these to tighten them up. As well with this one back here. It doesn't really hold that much tight, so don't tighten them that much. It's just a little tan. If you get a good grip and you feel it tight, you're good to go. It's a good good ones to have all right so after you're all done uh, you're gonna have a lot of coolant residue everywhere what you want to do I like to cover up my PCM connector in here you don't want to water um, interference with water inside the connector I'd like to just throw a little bit of water in an area where you're working to get all that coolant out of there avoid the PCM connector and then just kind of use it This moment after you start it, if you see any coolant or anything like that, you're gonna know you have a leak. But we're gonna do a pressure test afterwards with the vacuum. All right, for the vacuum pump, there's no actual alignment besides you actually have to marry the actual shaft coming out from the vacuum pump. And there's only two teeth to go through there. If you see inside the cam itself, there's a slot where it's gonna go through right there and you're gonna guide these teeth on the same route they could be backwards as long as those teeth are guide themselves and it's only gonna go in there that route you can't go in any route so I kind of just kind of move it around until it marries and you kind of go there remember always check those seals though uh, you got one vacuum out the air out the pool I use this air lift it works for me pretty good use different brands whatever uh, I brought it down to 25 uh, 
got it out. Now, if it was actually losing vacuum, that means you have a leak somewhere still, or something went down. You want to overcheck your stuff, close your valve. Uh, if only vacuum pressure out correct, or you can actually damage parts. I kind of set this under here, so you know, damage any connectors or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So, once you're fully set, it out, it's just gonna suck it out. It's 50 50 already, so I've been cutting half 50 50 at the seat. I just haven't already fully mixed, I do a lot of cooling stuff. But, I just suck it out until it goes zero, and you'll be good. Maybe we'll connect the battery and stuff. I think. You know, if you guys like me make more videos and stuff, and let me know, and I'll show more stuff. Hopefully, you guys this helps out. Kind of go from there.